So rabbits are really, really popular pets, and at the veterinary center we see, I don't know, three, four, even five rabbits a day. Rabbits are more popular than they've ever been because they're adorable. But one of the most common things that we're asked is, if I have a rabbit, what do I feed it? And there's a lot of misconceptions out there on the internet about what you should feed a rabbit. So I wanted to make it clear, this is our wonderful bunny friend here, and uh, when feeding rabbits, the most important thing you can feed them is hay. They have continuously growing teeth, and it's really, really important that you provide them that fiber, that roughage, so that they can wear down their teeth as they chew uh, the hay. And the hay is really, really important too as a source of fiber for their intestinal tract. They rely on fiber to ferment. The bacteria in their, in their gut ferments the fiber, and it promotes proper digestion. So unlimited amounts of hay. Not all hay is created equal. Um, you want to certainly feed lots of basically lower calcium hay, things like timothy um, or oat hay or orchard grass, meadow hay. Alfalfa hay has higher calcium and higher protein, and that's fine if your bunny's growing. So if you have a young rabbit, um, or if you have a rabbit that has babies and it's lactating. Um, but in general, you don't want to give exclusively alfalfa hay to a full-grown, non-breeding rabbit. You do want to provide some pellets, but pellets should be secondary. So our rule of thumb for pellets really is about a quarter of a cup per four to five pounds of bunny weight per day. Um, pellets are yummy. They are carbohydrates. We all love carbohydrates, right? But um, all that carbohydrate actually can change the pH of their intestinal tract and actually promote the gas-producing bacteria in the GI tract that make them feel uncomfortable and make them not want to eat. Can, that can lead to a situation called gastrointestinal stasis. So we want to limit the pellets in full-grown bunnies that are, you know, again, not needing all of that added all those calories, all that energy. Um, and then fresh greens. Fresh greens are really, really important and part of Bunny's diet because they provide water, um, hydration, and they're also a source of fiber on some level too. Um, too many greens for some, bunnies can make them have diarrhea or upset stomach. But really, um, if you're feeding basically leafy greens, and again, you want to avoid um, all the really, really high calcium greens all the time, things like spinach or kale, um, dandelion greens, or even parsley, those are fine in small amounts, but not every day. So remember, this it's all that balance, just like in our diet. So lots and lots of hay, a limited amount of pellets for micronutrients and for taste and their yummy carbs, um, and lots of fresh greens too. If you feed your bunny this mixture of food and you get them out of their cage and get them exercising, your bunny will stay healthier, the gastrointestinal tract will stay healthier, they'll have fewer dental problems, they don't need added vitamins or minerals, I mean this is a balanced diet. Um, if you want to give a treat every now and again, you can give a little piece of fruit, something that's higher in fiber like a piece of pear or a piece of apple, but in general you want to limit the fruits because again it's a lot of carbohydrate and a lot of sugar. So if you feed balance like this, your rabbit is going to live a long time and be healthy and happy. Just remember, if you have questions, you really should ask your veterinarian. Be sure to take in your bunny for regular checkups to your vet at least once a year. Have your bunny's teeth checked and review the diet with your vet who can advise you as what you should be doing. That way your rabbit will stay healthy and happy and live a really long time.